Uh, first of all, thank you for being here. We are uh, tremendously, tremendously fortunate that, uh, you know, because of the commitment the college has made, we have the, the opportunity to host uh, the Big East tournament, you know, for the first time. You know, our guys went out there and, and earned the opportunity to compete for a championship throughout the season. And, you know, to come out here and tonight and, and win at home, especially against a team that, that really handled us just a couple days ago, uh, I'm really proud of how we regrouped, we made adjustments, and we looked for ways to improve. I thought our guys were really motivated tonight. I thought these three guys played tremendously well, but it wasn't just them. You know, I thought across the board we had a lot of tremendous performances. Colin Keating at the face-off X uh, was terrific. Uh, he never allowed them to get momentum, and he helped us keep ours. Um, but defensively tonight, we were terrific against a team that's one of the best in the country at what they do. Um, so I'm really, really proud of uh, how these guys responded. And then, you know, Ryan Schaefer had, you know, kind of what we call in, in athletics a senior, a senior performance. Uh, you know, he had the opportunity because Nicky Hatz um, hurt his knee. And uh, unfortunately, we, we've lost him for the season. So, you know, we, we lose a, an all Big East attackman, and, and Ryan steps in there and, and scores three goals in, in big time fashion. All of them were, were really important goals for us tonight. All right, thanks, Coach. We're going to have Kyle. Hey, guys. Uh, Kyle Devin inside the cross. This game was chaotic. Uh, and, and part of the reason it was chaotic was uh, because of you guys on the defense, uh, it seemed like every time Villanova entered your zone, there was a check on their hands. Uh, was that, you know, and that increased as the game went on, uh, even as the pressure mounted. Uh, how, how do you feel about kind of that approach, that aggressive style, kind of bringing you guys to the victory? Go ahead, Jared. I mean, that's, that's the style of game that we play. That's the game that we like. And that's like what we've pride ourselves on all season. Um, I mean, just we, we practiced zone in case we needed it. We thought it could be a good thing to throw in off end lines and stuff, considering how they basically, like Coach said, handled us about five days ago. But uh, the three of us, the three captains, the defensive captains got together, and I mean, we knew we were going to play man. We knew we could do it, and we just believed in ourselves and buckled down. Tate. Oh, um, yeah, we certainly you know, felt like you know, we had, we had to respect them as shooters, but we felt like if we could rush them into shots and get pressure on them while shooting, that would give me a chance to make some saves. And I think that's what we definitely did. These guys are long, athletic, and we knew if we were, gonna, if we were just decisive and would go quickly and get to them, then they would be rushed into shots because we have to respect them as shooters. They're certainly good shooters, and we knew they were going to get shots off. But if we could contest them and rush them, we knew that you know, we could make stops and get it out. And these guys certainly hassled them all night and did exactly what we planned. And, went to them quickly, decisively. I think one of the kind of possessions of the game that they had that showed you guys, your defensive presence was, you know, you, you were hacking away at guys in the corner on the top, and the guy had to flick the ball all the way to the corner to get free uh, of all the pressure. They ended up scoring on a broken play about like 20 yeah. seconds later. But up to that point, you know, it, it looked like, you know, you guys were really in command and really dictating what they were doing on offense. I mean, did you feel that while you were in the moment? Yeah, definitely. We were just talking about that. I was like, man, we would have loved to get a stop right there. That would have been huge. But yeah, we were talking about Jared was just all over that guy and pressing out and saying James Barclay and Jimmy Cunningham. We just felt like, you know, we could, at that point, we were kind of dictating the, you know, their tempo of offense and their tempo of play. And we just felt like if we just stayed on them and stayed after them and, you know, like I said, we're decisive and went quickly to them and, you know, we could really bother them and give them trouble. Yeah, I think it's I think it's really important to recognize those other guys. Um, I think they did a good job shutting off, and like we have such good chemistry, they knew what I was going to go do when I went out there and started ball pressuring, and that kind of gave me a chance to do it. And they had my back and locked off on the sides, and it gave me a chance to try to put the ball on the ground. Jay Alter with the Big East Digital Network. Your coach alluded to it, but what did it mean to play in front of you know the crowd tonight here in Friartown, and how did you feed off that throughout the semifinal? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was a great atmosphere. A lot of fans showed up and a lot of students showed up. Um, we have a lot of friends, you know, on the sidelines there. Um, and it was just, you know, like Coach said, uh, the, the college is committed to the sport of lacrosse and we had the opportunity to host it. So, uh, you know, I just want to say thank you to college and, you know, let's, uh, let's get this one on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, the fans were great. We had other athletic teams there. Um, 
we kind of did that in the fall. We'd support the soccer team, and you could see the soccer team come out and support us, kind of repaid the favor. And it was just really nice to see other athletic teams there, knowing like the school as a whole is behind us. Yeah, I think it was great. You know, it's obviously nice for us to host on our home field and our you know great stadium, Chappie Field, Anderson Stadiums one of the best in the country, if not the best, and certainly an awesome lacrosse venue, with, if not the best. And it was awesome to have that support, you know, with all of our fans here and at home, like I said, we had a lot of fellow students out there who got out there and the school did a great job of, you know, getting people out there and getting them to support us. So it certainly made a difference and helped us. And I think it was definitely, you know, kind of carried momentum for us. Uh, Coach, it seemed like, you know, uh, the Fercaros are the first guys you look at when you when you think about Villanova. Um, yep. Seemed like they were a little frustrated uh, early, and I think that kind of helped you guys out. What was the plan to kind of uh, attack them uh, with the defense? Yeah, you know, they are so talented. They're big. They're strong. They can lean on you, step away, and shoot with either hand. Um, they, they're involved in the face-off game. They're on man up. Uh, they don't come off the field, so. You know, you really need to be aware of where they are. Um, you know, the, what we executed today is what we we tried to do all year. Uh, last time we played them, well, for every reason we were a step slow, uh, and and they were tremendously on. You know, who you know that's why every game's a new day. Um, but we were we did a much better job crowding their hands today and being more physical uh, with them. Uh, we did we did change matchups a little bit so that Jared Newman would be the individual sliding to them often uh, versus initially covering them. Uh, let's switch to the offense. Uh, you mentioned uh, that Hats Petragos is out uh, with a knee injury. It looked like uh, Leahy, who, freshman, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Stepped in and had two huge timing goals. Just, I mean, if you look at this, the sheet, it's two goals, but they were at such huge junctures. Um, and coming off of not broken plays, which it seemed like you guys, you know, I made this joke earlier, you guys are the kings of broken plays. Yeah, you know, we're pretty good in those offense. chaotic situations. We're very young on offense, you know, between the midfielders that went out there today that are freshmen, you know, Ryan Naraki, uh, Damon Curry, Timmy Henrich, Sean Leahy, all freshmen, uh, all freshmen. Um, and, you know, that's part of the commitment that's been made to the college here in, in way of the allocation of scholarships over the years. You know, those guys are, you know, guys we've been talking about, you know, the commitment that's been being made. And, and now we, they're here. They're here. Uh, Sean has had a big time freshman year. Uh, for a midfielder to get, I think he's probably over 15 goals now on the year is is remarkable you know he's got great speed he can play with either hand uh he can shoot on the run he looked extra fast today you kind of fear that your freshman will hit, kind of hit the wall at this point um but he you know he and some of these other continue to get better which is what we want to see uh both teams actually drew a fair amount of uh stall clocks uh, mm. Did you anticipate that going into the matchup uh, playing against Villanova that you'd have to possess the ball a little bit more? And did it surprise you that they had three of them and you had four? That's a little bit of a frustration, a bit, probably a bigger picture question for you know the the ref the, the rules, what the rules are. Every referee is a little bit different. You know, we went out to Denver a couple of weeks ago and and they would have four minute possessions without without a without a timer on. So it's a little bit of, you know, discretion. It's a lot of, of the discretion of the referees. These refs were pretty quick to put them on. But as long as they're consistent with both teams, that's cool. Coach, what does it say about the Big East Conference that the two bottom seeds are matching <laughs> up in the final? Yeah, me and Joe Ample kind of kid around that, you know, we're the scrappers of the, of the conference. You know, he and I have a similar backgrounds and, um, you know, both mentored by John Donowski and, you know, we're just kind of, you know, embrace the underdog kind of mentality, scrappers, blue collar mentality. So a lot of similarities. So, um, yeah, I think it's, you know, who, who would have guessed it would be Providence Marquette in the championship game on Saturday? Not many people, but I bet you the Marquette kids thought they would be there. And I know my guys thought they were going to be there. And now you find yourself one game away from, a, you know, birth to the NCAA tournament. What would that mean to your program? Uh, yeah, it would mean the world. Yeah, it would mean the world. Um, but it's not going to be easy, right? Good luck. Thank you.